Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Kingdoms and Castles kind of Let's Play. And I got a really good response from a lot of you guys, so I decided that I'm going to continue this little mini-series here. And I probably won't be putting out too many of these videos in a row. Uh, this one is kind of going to be a little bit of a special just because I got such a good response. But I'm thinking probably once or twice a week and probably not a set time exactly. Uh, I have enough trouble staying ahead on the schedule I have currently with my Let's Plays and such. But uh, to be fair, my school schedule is pretty sporadic. It actually changes from week to week, which is a little bit annoying. And uh, yeah, just busy with uh, personal life and stuff like that. So gaming kind of gets put on the back burner during that time. But I still am a little bit sick, but I'm getting better at least. So hopefully there won't be as many sniffles in the camera. Or sorry, in the uh, microphone. But yeah, so I uh, got a lot of good response um, from you guys on what I should be doing. Uh, we do have our treasury room here, which is good. And I think we are able to start taxing the population because uh, they are at 84 happiness. So that will probably bump it down just a little bit, but it's going to start to trickle in a little bit of gold for us. And a lot of you guys were saying not to build too close to the edge because I won't be able to build walls. So I guess, yes, you're not e able to build walls naturally on the water, as you can see. But I guess um, someone did mention that you can get piers which I did update to the new beta, so we can uh, get this maritime development tab here. And we do have a drawbridge, some bridges, which is cool, but we have these piers as well. Basically, I'll put a pier in this corner here, and then I'll be able to actually uh, build the wall out and then bring it out this way and then across. So that shouldn't be too bad. The only thing is, is that these are pretty fertile over here, so I actually might uh, build piers out a little ways and then be able to expand my farms but I do want to get uh, these windmills here which would be pretty handy to have maybe right here let's get a windmill and then I can have uh, three more farms built around it so I'll see what I want to do there but I think that our feud is doing pretty well now which is good So we got a hundred, I think in the granary. Oh uh, yeah, we have a hundred food in the stores, which is excellent for our population. So I think we're going to try and expand our, our hovels here. So I'm going to move this road out a bit. And I'm going to need to get a... Well, yeah, we actually... I think this well actually does cover quite a bit of it. So maybe we don't really need a well. So is there anything else that I can pop in there? That's only just one space. Oh yeah, I also did see as well. Uh, these This Lord Levi statue here actually makes trees grow again, which is really good. But you guys were saying that I should build a, um, a forester or something? Uh, wherever... Is that an industry forester? Because uh, these replant trees, so that way I won't actually run out. So we're definitely going to do that. So let me plan here for my houses. So I've got three there, so let's get two more. Uh, let's get three more, actually. And let's demolish these roads so I can get another house. And then we'll extend... Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted. Want this road here. So I'll extend that past there. And then I'm going to have to build a road to the Forester. And Forester, Forester. So yeah, I really do appreciate all your guys, uh, your help with this Kingdoms and Castles, because like I said, I really don't want to watch, you know, other YouTubers playing it. It's really good for me to kind of figure it out myself. Uh, it's only fair that way, and it kind of helps me learn a little bit better as well. 
Uh, no one available to construct. Hmm. Well, that's okay. We're going to be having a new influx of visitors very soon. And just for even sake, let's just put another well there. Just so we're extra covered over on this side. And then for these castles here, I did want to start to build walls over on this side here. The only problem is, is that they're so expensive. We're probably going to have to get another mine going. So I'm thinking... Baker, windmill, industry, quarry. So... Maybe we'll build a road out to that quarry there. Oh, no! My keep's on fire! How did that happen? Was that like a lightning strike in the storm or something? Of course it would strike my house. Look at all these peasants' houses out here, and it's going to burn down my house. Fire started, build wells. Well, there's a well right here. Quick, put it out! Oh, yes, good. They're Okay, they're bringing water over to put out the fire. Oh, man. That is brutal. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my whole kingdom is, is in flames! I just built these houses. We gotta put them out, please. Oh, man. Brutal. Alright, so these houses uh, want some charcoal. So I could build uh, a charcoal thing over here, I guess. Uh, can we rotate that around? Just build it, uh, build it right there for now, behind the trees. Wow, did it burn down this house? Are you serious right now? Wow. Oh, it burned down that house too. Okay. Oh, nope. Stop. Stop that. There we are. All the houses must face my house. So they can aspire to be me one day. But good. Looks like we're getting a healthy stockpile of stone over here, which is excellent. So I'm thinking we should probably... Oh, we're out of wood. Okay. They are building the forester over here, though, which is good. Uh, but we can chop these trees down. I just want rid of them anyway, so I don't really need them to regrow over here. But actually, you know what? We should probably build a stockpile over here as well. So we're going to need seven wood for that. So I'll actually build it right next to the Forester. But other than that, we're looking pretty good so far. How much How much is this? Fifteen each. So yeah, we're really going to need to kind of pump out... Uh, pump out the mines here. We could get some iron mines as well, but I don't really need any weapons at the moment, so I think that's all right. Very good, though. So, how are we still looking? Because our, yeah, our food stores are going to start to go down. So, we're probably going to need some more farms here very soon. And we could put farms all over here, which is really good. And I'm just going to wait until I get a little bit more wood. Is this on fire? Or is it supposed to be like that? What is my other one? Oh, my other one is is closed. We should probably open that back up, actually. Yeah, so I guess it is supposed to be like that, so that's good. Okay, and we're getting an influx of wood for our farms, so let's go ahead and expand them. And what I want to do here... is... get new farms there. Maybe a few more? 
Well, we'll start with we'll start with two, and then I'm actually going to delete these ones here, so that we can put in windmills. So I'll pop two windmills over there. But how's our stores looking? Yeah, the stores are are depleting, so that's a little bit of a problem. We're gonna need to get some more get some more farms going here. But we don't have any idle villagers, so what is this guy saying? Food stores running low? No one available to expand the buildings. Well, you know... I need 25 wood for this windmill, which will make them more efficient. Then we'll pop it right in the center there. And then, does anybody know, if I build a pier here, can you put a farm on top of the pier? Probably not, actually. I don't think you could. But, yeah, so if I bring my walls around like this, and I have a pier here, I could always just bring it out like this, and then out and around, and I'll just build piers all over on this side. And then once we cut back into here, we'll just be on, on land again. Uh, Kingdom attracted four new residents? Excellent. Welcome. Welcome, my friends. Okay, uh, for the town... Let's go ahead and get this road going over here. Little village. And I guess that's all my wood for now. But yeah, I'm going to have to expand my road over to here to get the, the stone over here. Stone available for quarry. But we are starting to build up some funding as well, which is excellent. Some gold in our coffers. But these windmills, man. I'm um, going to have to... Is anyone working at this forester here? Zero out of three. Why is no one working over here? Needs a full staff to replant. Well, it's because I have no more idle villagers is really the problem. Oh, there we go. Three out of three. Beautiful. Okay, so I think now they're going to start cutting down some of the wood. Think you're an excellent ruler. Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but uh, I do know how to take care of my own. Still can't afford that windmill, though. I wonder, is there anything that makes the quarries more efficient? Like, can I upgrade this or anything to make it more efficient? Not fully staffed. So basically, I need some more people. I need to keep building these hovels here. Here we go. No one available to work on the new construction. Well, you know, you tell me to build houses, and then I build houses, and then no one can build the houses. <sighs> At least our food should be alright now. 54, so we are holding. Uh, I really need that windmill to be getting taken care of, though. I need two of them, actually, so I'm going to need 70 stone. But are all these houses happy? Do they have access to everything that they need? No charcoal. Being taxed, minus 12. Well, you know what? Like... You gotta pay me for living here. Like, this isn't... This isn't some free town. Four visited, three have found sanctuary. So we're up to 42 people already, which is huge. I'm um, just really hoping we can staff all of this stuff here. The quarry's got four workers, which is good. Three workers there. We got three workers here. We got three workers at the Forester. So we're looking pretty good, I think. Hmm. 
They are very happy. This means we can tax them, but we're already taxing them, so... I don't want to bring it any lower than really 75 for the happiness. I want to make sure that they're extra happy with me. And here we go, up to 94, 97, 99, 100. So yeah, we're doing well on the foods. I will be looking to plant some orchards somewhere. Uh, it's just hard to see in the winter time exactly where, where to plant them. Plus we have like barely any wood, so I might have to actually build another forester. And I should probably have a small stockpile over here as well, so we'll build that. I know I keep getting rid of all of my wood, but there's really nothing else I can do. The windmills are going to have to be on hold for now. And hovels. Need to see if we can get some hovels going. Like, chances are you don't really even need the stockpile. for wood. I'm not really sure. Stores resources. So I'd assume it would store wood instead of having it, you know, just stacked all around all around uh, the the realm here. You'd see like little blocks of wood. I guess they would try to converge it into the stockpile. So we have some extra. Like, what do we have over here? Oops. Yeah, yeah. So there are, there are a couple pieces of wood there, which is good. Oh, and it looks like we've got a surplus of charcoal. Nice. Okay, so that's good. So we'll have all of those resources at hand if we need it. And we should get some uh, charcoal surpluses over here as well. But they're just waiting for three more wood to finish that. Oh, I really would like to build another house or two if I could. It's because we need the people right now. We've got 50 beds with 45 villagers, so I'll watch that. Once we build this, uh, if it stays at 45 and we have 55, then it should be all right. But six people visited, but only three could find sanctuary in a home because I think all of these hovels are filled. Five out of five... Yeah, so all my houses are filled, which is really good. Actually, this one is not, though, which is nice. It doesn't have anybody living there. But good, the stockpile is done. And look at this, we're already getting some charcoal in there. Excellent. Really good. Well, we should actually build a quarry over here since we since we already have uh, kind of this little in industry area over here. I don't want it to be next to the next to my town, right? Like, what are they complaining about? They don't have enough food or something? Mm -hmm. Or are they wanting, like, a bakery? Is that, like, the sign for bread or whatever? Baker. 25. 25 wood? Well, we don't really have enough wood to build a bakery right now. Six more people, but five found sanctuary, so that should be filled. Four out of five, nice. So we're up to 49 people. I feel like we're doing pretty good here. Everybody seems to be decently happy. We've got these very luscious farms here built right on the water's edge. I'm quite nervous for... I'm pretty nervous for dragons, though. probably look to build a wall. Like right across here or something. But we're going to need a ton of stone for that, so... How much is to get an archer tower right now? need five more wood and then I could get maybe a, an archer tower up there although they do cost gold which is the problem 
Hmm. Try building nice large houses or other things that peasants might enjoy. Large houses? Are they already complaining about the size of their houses? Gonna have to bump up to the cottage now? Guys, you're killing me here. And it's year 16, so... I'm a little bit nervous. I think someone said that there's a, an invasion at year 40, which is a problem. We just need more people working at this forester over here. And I need more people working at a quarry, which I'll put over at this area. So when I got 15 wood, that's what I'm going to do next. Let's just bump this up a little bit. Probably should build like a tower over over here, I think. Or something, or over here maybe. And kind of protect the four corners of our little town here. How much money do I have? I have a decent amount of money, so I probably could be able to afford an arrow tower. But... We're saving. We're saving right now for a quarry. Fifteen. Fifteen wood. We have six idle villagers as well. Okay. Well, that's good, because once, once we get this, this quarry up and running, it should just fill up with villagers. Set this one to be chop. Maybe that'll send a villager over there. And look at this stockpile growing over here. Really nice. How's our granary looking? 65, so that's not bad considering how many peasants we have living here. We've got 55 out of 55. And how big are these cottages? Well, they're 25, actually, so we can't even see how big, but they're probably too wide, I'd imagine. Library might be nice, but right now we need a quarry. So let's pop that down so that we can get some more stone, even more. And we should probably maybe build another forester, but I don't want to get too far away from the safety of the walls that I'm going to be building here eventually. Now, it's only year 17, but it's, I'm still a little bit worried about it, if I'm honest. Yeah, we've only got one idle villager, because as soon as that quarry is built, which is being built very fast... That should just immediately fill up, and then we'll be getting even more stone. So then the next thing I'll be looking at is building another forester. Which kind of makes me think that I'm going to need a tower over here as well. But... I need 25 wood. Two idle villagers still. Is this quarry full up already? Workers, four out of four. Excellent. So we're going to be getting a lot more stone there. So how about we save for another forester? Cannot be too near other foresters. Okay. How much, how much for bridges? Bridges, two. Can't be too far away from the road. But see, I don't want to expand out there, because what if the invasion force lands there and I have nothing to defend it with? Huh. I would like to put, like, a couple foresters out here, but there's no way I'm going to be able to afford to wall all this off. Is that on fire? 
I can't tell if that's on fire or not. Oh, they're bringing water from the edge over there, so... Hopefully they'll be able to put that out. Yes, looks like they did. Nice job. Nice job, guys. It's a stone road. Five wood and five gold. Allows peasants to travel much faster. Oh, I really want to get those windmills going, but it's just taking forever for me to afford it. I definitely have enough stone. I just need more wood, basically. Because we're getting a nice surplus now because we have enough. Industry. Forester, I need 15. Come on. Thirteen. Because I wonder if I could put one right here. Or would that be too close? Fifteen. Too far away from roads. At least four tiles away from a forester. So I probably could put one there, I think. Where is the forester? Can I put one here? Cannot. But I could put one up there, which is good. So they're going to build some roads over that way. This is going to waste a lot of my wood, but... Okay, so now I'm going to have to wait again <laughs> until I can get the Forester up here, because then it should be able to cover all of that, which would be good. And then when I have enough resources, I actually might try and move that Forester over to here. So we've kind of got two of them out of the way, which is nice. And then we should be bringing in enough resources to be able to start on our walls. As soon as I get my two windmills, I'm going to start on my walls. Which I think would be a good idea. We've got a nice uh, surplus of food, so actually we might not even need it right now. Since that guy isn't telling us that we're starving at this point. But I'm going to have to end the episode soon. Let's see if we can get this forester going real quick. And then I would actually like to uh, start to build a bridge across this way to our main keep area. Because we could definitely get like three or four or even, yeah, probably four foresters over here plus a quarry. And then if we built a couple of towers uh, to defend it, that would be a massive uh, influx of resources that we'd be getting every every little bit. But I'm really liking with two quarries having one, four, seven for excuse me, for our stone production. That's actually really good, so we should be able to get started on, on putting up some of these walls for this Viking invasion that is going to be coming in about 21 years, apparently. That's what I've heard, I think, at year 40, the Vikings invade. But what do we got here? Industry, two more to get a forester. There we are. So you can pop a forester in right there. And we have just enough money to pop a little road over to it. And we've we've quite we've expanded quite a bit actually, which is really nice. We've got uh, no idle villagers. Uh, they really want some larger houses, but I can't afford large houses right now. 
I think these cottages are two squares, though, so what I can always do is delete this one, and then we can start to put cottages in here in these little rows. And I could look at building a library as well, maybe a tavern. And a town square would probably be good. That would make them a little bit happier than they already are, because they are... They want a tavern. 25 wood. But this forester is flying up, which is excellent. It's just waiting for a few more pieces of wood to finish it off. But it looks like this gentleman's bringing three, three pieces of wood right now. So it's going to be done very, very soon. And then, yeah, so next episode, we're probably going to be looking at expanding our walls, building a couple towers. And we're going to try to get a library, a tavern, and maybe even a hospital as well. See if we can uh, maybe stick a hospital on this side of the keep here. Because these guys are going to need some medical attention. I I'm worried that there's there could be things like like uh, like the bubonic plague that will spread through and just kill a bunch of my citizens, which would be pretty terrible. But there we go. That forester is up and running, and it has three workers as well. So we should be getting a lot of wood in very quickly. Let's just see if we can quickly enough... No, it's going to be 25. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think I should do next. Uh, hopefully you are enjoying this, this uh, Kingdoms and Castles little mini-series. And it is year 20, and seven people visited, and no one could find a home. So we're probably going to have to look at building some cottages in the next episode. And my uh, little charcoal place is on fire as well, so hopefully that doesn't burn down. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.